It might seem counterintuitive, but a messenger RNA is about 10 times as massive as the protein that it encodes. This is like saying that a cake that you make is 10 times lighter than your cake recipe. And it might seem counterintuitive, but this actually allows your cells to do things like regulate the use of that messenger RNA, the use of that recipe. Um, and so you can have multiple giant chefs on there, these ribosomes, these protein-making complexes. You can have multiple of these giant complexes on a messenger RNA working at the same time. You can have regulatory proteins binding to, to the messenger RNA. And so where does this 10 times number come from? Well, basically it takes three nucleotides, so three RNA letters, three letters in that recipe to specify a single amino acid. So you can think of it as like, as words, these codons, these three letter combinations. Um, these are codons, these are like words that are spelling an amino acid. So it's like going, telling the chef which ingredient to add now. And you have to have three, so you have to have three of those, three nucleotides, in order to make one amino acid to specify or code for one amino acid. How it actually works is the ribosome is traveling along and then a transfer RNA is gonna come with the corresponding amino acid to the three letter code that that ribosome is sitting on. So you can think of the ribosome as kind of like chef sitting on the, on the mRNA and like yelling out, hey, I need this, and then the tRNA brings it. It's like the servant that brings the amino acid. But anyway, in order for the tRNA to know what amino acid to bring, you have to have three RNAs, three nucleotides. And each of those nucleotides is about three times more massive, so three times heavier than the average amino acid. So amino acids, as I've been going over in this past month, have like all these different sizes. And so they have all these different weights. Um, but the average one is about a third of the mass of an average nucleotide. So this means that you have three times three nucleotides per amino acid, and each of those nucleotides is three times more massive than the amino acid, so this gets to, to about nine times. But then the messenger RNA, it doesn't just have that protein coding region. It doesn't just have that part that specifies which amino acids to add. In the beginning and the end of these recipes, there's actually some extra information, some untranslated region. So translation is the process of making the ribosome like piecing together all those amino acids. And so so the untranslated regions are regions of the messenger RNA that don't encode for amino acids. So they don't, the ribosome, the tRNAs don't match that part, like the ribosome doesn't come and the tRNAs don't bring the ribosome stuff during that region, those five prime and three prime UTRs. Instead, these untranslated regions allow for regulation and they allow for things like binding of various proteins that are going to help get the translation process started. So help recruit the ribosome, recruit different things. Uh, at like the five prime end especially, and then at like the three prime end, you can have all sorts of regulation with things like microRNAs, you can get RNA interference, various things like this, um, to control the usage of the messenger RNA as well as like its lifetime and how long it lives and stuff. So you have these regulatory regions that are going to add bulk. And not to mention then, it's not like directly the mRNA size, but you're going to have a bunch of proteins on that messenger RNA to do that regulation. And so they're going to make it look even more massive. In terms of massive though, we can, well, we talk, when I'm talking about massive before, I'm talking about like how much it weighs and like per thingamabob. Um, so, but we also have like how much space it takes up. And so this is really going to depend because both proteins and RNAs can take on a bunch of different shapes. Um, so proteins often take these like globular compact shapes, but then they have big floppy regions a lot of the time. Um, with RNA, you have a more like long linear form, but then it like coils up and it forms hairpins and loops and all this various thing. So it's not just like a straight string, it's all, it's all loopy and stuff, um, especially this is a lot for regulation and stuff too. Um, but basically you're going to have this more like long extended molecule. So long story short, you're going to have this giant massive messenger RNA that's taken up a ton of space. Um, and then you have these little bitty proteins and even a ribosome, which is massive, looks pretty tiny on a messenger RNA. Um, 
and yeah so it's kind of counterintuitive but it really it really does make sense when you think about it that you have th each nucleotide is about three times as massive as an amino acid and you need three nucleotides per amino acid and then you have the extra regulatory information so long story short you've got about 10 times as massive um, and if you really want the details, basically the average nucleotide is about 330 Daltons and the average amino acid is about 110 Daltons. So a Dalton is a gram per mole and basically a mole is like a biochemist dozen. It's like saying you have a dozen donuts, it's like saying you have like 12 donuts, but instead we're saying you have 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd of something. So 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd um, nucleotides would weigh on average 330 grams so that's what we say when we mean dalton um so it's like how much a box of donuts weighs and so if you have filled donuts that's going to weigh a lot more and so you then like non-filled donuts are like light donuts or whatever and so your rna is like a heavier box of donuts um and so it's going to weigh more each building block of rna is going to weigh more than each building block of the protein and then you have to take into account that you need more of the building blocks of the RNA to make a single building block of the protein. And you end up with this giant massive messenger RNA and these small proteins, which like the proteins, like that's what we often think about. Like, oh yeah, that's, that's the big thing. It's the protein. But really the mRNA is the big, big thing. Um, and so there's a lot of attention that's often not paid to messenger RNA and other types of RNA, um, but they're really, really cool. Um, and there's a lot of cool RNA biology going on. So uh, I highly recommend that you check it out.